The Essex Air Ambulance has served Essex for the past 10 years and now operates seven days a week, 365 days a year, to attend thousands of accidents and emergencies across the county. But with a good road ambulance service, why do we need such a state-of-the-art and relatively expensive service in the county? The whole ethos, ethos of an air ambulance is to get care to a patient and remove that patient from a scene to get them to hospital as quickly as possible. And that golden hour between you having the accident and people getting to you to look after you is the most important hour of your life. To be able to render assistance to the patient so that they get to a place of definitive care within that golden hour. You can get care to that patient and get the patient to the appropriate hospital very quickly. The air ambulance just saves lives. I mean, it could be you, could be family member, friend, and it needs all the support it can possibly get. Basically, I had, I had a car accident, an RTA. I was in quite a bad way from a head injury. If the air ambulance hadn't picked me up, I probably wouldn't even be alive, never mind recovering this well. An essential service and a life-saving service. But Hertfordshire is not covered by this critical air cover. There's no fast response helicopter to get people to safety in the golden hour. But the Essex and Hearts Air Ambulance Trust have an exciting plan to deal with this. In Hertfordshire we haven't got an air ambulance and I believe the, the Essex Air Ambulance people are in the process of helping the Hertfordshire Air Ambulance people to get it off the ground. Hertfordshire is one of the uh, very few counties in the whole of the country that doesn't have its own dedicated air ambulance. They really wouldn't, haven't got this facility to use, this resource that is there with the, the speed and the, the, the care that can be brought to the patient as quickly. That will make the difference to, to a seriously injured patient uh, as to whether he lives or dies. That facility at the moment is not available in Hertfordshire. We believe that we need to be able to help the people of Hertfordshire fundraise to get their own air ambulance operation. It came to my attention a few years ago that, uh, that Hertfordshire didn't have any sort of uh, air ambulance cover. So I joined up with the Essex Air Ambulance Trust, uh, recently became elected a trustee of the trust and, uh, and now my special remit is to uh, organise the, uh, the introduction of a helicopter service into Hertfordshire. The short term aim is that we need to raise enough money that we can use the uh, Essex machine covering into uh, Hertfordshire. The medium term aim is to establish our own helicopter service in Hertfordshire with our own dedicated machine, our own dedicated crew in the Hertfordshire area. Kent have had a very similar experience to what we're just about embarking on. They've moved into the counties of Surrey and Sussex and very quickly they can adapt the experience, the expertise, the passion and enthusiasm of the team they've already got in Kent and transfer that to the other counties. And that's what we're hoping to do here. The Trust made the decision to, to take on the additional area. In our case, it was uh, Surrey and Sussex as well as Kent, where we are firmly established. The initial disadvantage to Kent was that we were spread a little bit thinly. The economies of scale are such that it's actually now cheaper to operate this aircraft in a partnership of, of two than it was to, to operate individually as one. As Essex moves on in the same way that we did, um, they'll find that the aircraft will be uh, covering Hertfordshire and Essex, but in time, once Hertfordshire is established, they will have the, the same benefit themselves. Setting up an additional service is, although it initially does require a lot of time and effort and financial input, it's based on something that is working. So to set it up in Hertfordshire will not be a case of reinventing the wheel because you'll have that local expertise, you'll have that local knowledge, you'll have the standard operating procedures that just need to be implemented. So that means that we wouldn't have to duplicate two teams, but the expertise from our existing team could help um, make sure that the service is offered in Hertfordshire. 1017 radio station really were our first radio station to actually come on board. I'm Tim Humphreys and as you may know we are the number one supporter of the Essex and Hertfordshire Air Ambulance Trust. 1017 FM support the Air Ambulance Trust all the way. We think it's just an absolutely incredible charity. The work that it does is, is just absolutely amazing. It, it saves lives. Um, we're behind it all the way and we want to just raise as much money as we possibly can for it. Without the public of Hertfordshire supporting the whole concept of an air ambulance, it just won't happen. I think it's vital that both the, the businesses and people of the county get behind the, uh, the Hertfordshire Air Ambulance uh, initiative and it'll be a very proud moment for me the day the first life is saved in Hertfordshire because of the air ambulance. So this is brilliant. Very soon we will have our own helicopter flying within the county of Hertfordshire 
and saving lives. This is a real reason to celebrate. I want to be there the day they launched the first flight of the Hertfordshire Air Ambulance. With no government funds or lottery money, the Hearts helicopter will need to be funded by the people and businesses of Hertfordshire. But let me tell you, fundraising can be fun and sponsorship can be great for business. We have lots of exciting events that happen across the year and lots of very enthusiastic people that help us raise lots of much needed funds. One of those things is the, um, the walk that the BBC Essex did for us. Yeah, we'd always wanted to do the Essex Way walk and uh, go the whole 81 miles. And uh, we decided to do it for the Essex Air Ambulance because they're a county-wide charity. Uh, it really is a fabulous asset for Essex. Um, the fact that it can get anywhere, you know, within, within minutes. And of course we raised well over £10,700 for the air ambulance, so everybody wins really. There was also our motorbike run, which happens every single year. And last year we managed to raise £28,000, which was fantastic. If you belong to a group, a society or a school or a business, and you'd like to find out how you could get involved, we would love to be able to help you maybe run your own event on behalf of Air Ambulance to try and raise much needed funds. And the team has lots of ideas and suggestions on things that you could do to help us reach the £250,000 target, which will eventually enable the people of Hertfordshire to have their own life-saving air ambulance. Lots of mad things that people do for us, lots of mad fundraising, like jumping out of aeroplanes. What we'd really like to see is as many volunteers as possible to give up their time and help the Hertfordshire Air Ambulance Appeal. Because if anyone is interested in volunteering and helping be part of our future, then please contact us to find out more. Corporates uh, can support the Essex Air Ambulance uh, in many, many ways. There are a number of schemes available for them. Um, and certainly for us, it's given us a great deal of satisfaction knowing that we can be part of that team. This is a very good opportunity for businesses to be involved at a very early stage in the Hertfordshire Air Ambulance uh, initiative and to, and to enjoy the goodwill that comes with that initiative. I would uh, highly recommend anyone that can think of any ways of raising money for the Air Ambulance should get involved with it. John will be able to attend lots of our events across the year and we know that once John attends the local press and newspapers and TV and radio will want to know about John and what he's doing for the charity and this is an ideal opportunity for any businesses in Hertfordshire out there that would like to get involved. If you can get involved early it means that as the brand grows then you'll be part of our success for the future. There is some very clear benefit to us in supporting and, and helping out with, with Essex Air Ambulance, for which we're very grateful. We're also going to be launching our own um, lottery in Hertfordshire, um, so please do look out for that because our lottery fundraising is very important to us. So, an exciting challenge. A dedicated Hearts Air Ambulance service could literally be a matter of life or death for one of the county's one million inhabitants. But we need your help to fund this crucial service. Just get an air ambulance if you haven't already got one. It's vital. It's often the, the difference, isn't it, between life and death, simple as that. Help us today, because you may need us tomorrow. Please help us support the Hearts Air Ambulance Appeal and help make this challenge a reality. If you want to arrange a fundraising event, become a volunteer, organize something at work or school, or even if you want to take up the opportunity to become a business sponsor, then get in touch. Here are the details.